What my, is it about that team? You have their number. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I know we beat them three times this year, and uh, we were able to sweep them in the playoffs. I don't know if we have the number or not. It seems like every game we play them goes down to the wire. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I think you asked pregame, you know, how do you win close games? Mm -hmm. And we closed 19-6 to six tonight. And obviously, uh, defensive stops down the stretch. Um, timely defensive rebounds and tremendous offensive execution down the stretch. And poise, right? When, the, when things aren't going your way, your teams make a run, you have to have poise, especially on the road. And I think we had all those things tonight, Vic. So uh, much better job defensively second half. We were plus 16 on the glass. And you look at all the contributions. I mean, Michael Porter, 25 and 10, doesn't miss a shot. Uh, Aaron Gordon, 18, 9 and 5. Uh, Nicola gives you 35, 10, and 7. And Jamal, 24, 6, 11 assists, only two turnovers. And the guy that I thought was just uh, was so key tonight was Justin Holiday. You know, uh, he's got to be talked about. I thought Justin was amazing tonight. And to have a veteran like that, who he plays when guys are out, he doesn't play when guys are in, he is always ready. Consummate pro, cannot be more happy and proud of Justin Holiday, and he's fully deserving of having the game he had because of who he is as a person, his work ethic, and uh, we don't win that game without him. Were you at all surprised that Jamal was able to play and play at that level? Uh, no, because when Jamal told me this morning, uh, even on the plane yesterday, when I went up and sat with him, talked to him, you know, I we were coming out here thinking that there's no way he plays. And we were hoping against hope. There's no way he plays. But as I've said many times, Vic, uh, Jamal is one of the toughest cats I've ever been around. And he got up this morning feeling good, and I rode him the whole fourth quarter. I rode Michael Porter the whole fourth quarter. Uh, we have a couple of days to get ready for our next game. And uh, for Jamal to do what he did, and he got off to a tough start. He stayed with it. He stayed with it. And, and more importantly, if your shot's not going like it wasn't early, be a playmaker. Get other people involved. And uh, he was just fantastic across the board. What I can see is beautiful with, with Murray is he can have a tough start, but if somebody tries to get physical with him and gets up and is chilly, he also says, okay, I can play that too. That, that seems to spark him tonight a little bit. They try to get physical with him. He, uh, I think he thrives on that, to your point. I mean, uh, if... Teams are going to try to body up, be physical, and try to punk him, if you will. Uh, he's, you know, Jamal's not backing down from anybody. You know, early on, they were po we were switching. They were posting up Rui Hachimura, and he scored. So he said out in a timeout, hey, let's, let's stop switching it. Rui's hurting us. And Jamal said, no, no, give me another crack. I want to guard him. That's who Jamal is. He's not looking for the easy out. He's not looking for an excuse. He's going to go out there and battle, and I thought he did that tonight. And uh, obviously, no KCP. I thought Christian did a solid job for us in the starting lineup. But... Uh, you know, Jamal, obviously, Michael, Aaron, Nicola, those four guys were all outstanding. You won, your team won the game, and you saw a little bit of uh, NBA history tonight. Can you sum it up from that perspective? Yeah, I, I mean, congratulations to LeBron on 40,000, but I, I'm just happy that we won the game. Um, you know, he's had a hell of a career. Um, but more importantly, we were able to get our sixth win in the row coming out of the All-Star break and, and playing at a high level. And this is the time of the year that you have to play at that high level. So kudos to LeBron, 40,000, first to ever do it. Maybe the only one to ever do it. We'll see what happens in the next 15, 20, 30 years. But a uh, hell of a win for the Nuggets on the road to get the season sweep. Heat on Thursday, obviously Lakers tonight. Got the Suns and the Celtics coming up. You know, with the postseason kind of looming and kind of in the, in the mirror right now. You know, what do you guys hope to, to accomplish out of those and to just kind of ramp up for, for what, what's ahead for you guys? Yeah, I mean, and for us, to be honest, it doesn't matter who we're playing. You know, like coming out of the break, we had lost three in a row going in. Washington was our first game. So, well, you don't get up for Washington. They're, they only got nine wins. No, we, we got up for Washington. Then we got up for Portland the next night. We got up for Golden State. We got up for SAC, Miami, Lakers. Uh, this time of the year, it's never about who you're playing. It's about playing the right way. And uh, that's what I'm most pleased about is that regardless of the opponent and quality of opponent, our guys are locked in fully understanding with 21 games to go. We, we have to find our rhythm. We want to go into the postseason playing our best basketball. And the last six games are any indication, you know, I think we're heading in the right direction.
did with with Jamal? Did he like come to you basically after his pregame warm up and say, "I I do want to go tonight"? I mean, we talk about his competitiveness. He seems to <laughs> relish these types of games in particular, these sort of you know big national TV, whatever. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, to be very honest, I I, I think. All signs were pointed towards him playing. The final test was just to go out there and make sure there was nothing holding him back with the ankle. And I, I think for Jamal, for myself, we all felt that there's a great chance of him playing, but we had to get that final check. And uh, you know, he was he was good to go. And uh, for him to play 38 and a half minutes and to put the, together the game that he did, it just speaks to who he is as a player, as a competitor. As you mentioned, he rises to the occasion. National TV on ABC and uh, against uh, a team with a lot of talent. And so, uh, good win. You know, but again, we're not going to celebrate. We have much work to do in front of us. You, you, mentioned, you mentioned this all the time. Coach's son, you've seen a lot of basketball. You've been assistant for a lot of years. Do you ever watch that group get in the roles that they get into? I think it's whatever, the 16 to 6 or 19, 19 to 6. 6 to close. Do you ever just sit there and go, oh, my God? I mean, do you ever just are surprised at all with what those guys do? You know, the one thing, you know, uh, Chuck Daly said this to my father. My father told me, cherish and savor every moment in the NBA. It's a great job. <laughs> you know, I, have, I have the best job in the world. I do something I love every day with a group of people that I love. And sometimes you sit there and watch them play a beautiful game, the right way to play the game. The ball is moving. Guy's not open. He makes a play for somebody else. That's contagious. That's the right way to play. So what I find myself doing is admiring uh, the, the, the game that we play and, uh, and, and remind myself how lucky I am to have this job. I never take it for granted. And, uh, and if I ever do, come up to me and, as you say, get in my chili.